In this portion of our series on how to use an IP camera system over network, we're going to show that you don't necessarily need to be on the same subnet as the camera to initialize and modify its IP address. So in order to demonstrate this, first we're going to log into our NVR by right-clicking and going to Main Menu. We're going to use the graphical password. Now this graphical password can be found on the t a label on the top of your NVR, as well as the textual password. So now that we're logged into the NVR, I'm just going to demonstrate that here we have the NVR's network port set to DHCP on a router that is using a 10.1.2 subnet network. And then the NVR has an IP address of 100 on this network. Now our cameras and NVR ship with a default address of 192.168.1.108. And keep in mind, you can't have any of these devices having the same IP address. So right now we're okay because this is on a 10.1.2 subnet, and we know my defaulted camera, you know, straight from the box that's uninitialized and has not had its IP address changed is 192.168.1.108. So now we're just going to cancel out of here. And now to get to the camera registration screen, we're going to go under the setting and click camera. And here we are, we are on the camera registration screen. Now we're going to search for this camera again on our network here. And as you can see, it did pull up the 192.168.1.108 that I spoke of. And this icon here shows that this camera is not initialized. We've, we've factory defaulted this camera or it's straight out of the box. In order to alleviate that, we're going to first check box that. We're going to click the initialize button. We're using the current device password and email info. This is the, e the info that was actually configured on the NVR. Again, the password's on a label on the top of the unit. And then we're going to click Next. And here's the important part where we're actually setting the IP address of this camera. Now, normally, you would only change the last number here if everything's on the same subnet. But in this example, we want to make sure that we are setting this camera to our network, which is a 10.1. Dot two, and then this number can be anything between 1 and 254, and, but you're going to want to make sure that none of your cameras or your NVR have the same address. So we know we can't set this to 100, so we're just going to set it to 101 in this example. And then this is also extremely important. Make sure you set the correct default gateway. And I know that to be the IP address of my router. And this is very important, too, if you want this camera to eventually um, connect to the Internet. And it also, I don't believe, will allow you to change the IP address unless the gateway and the IP address subnet match. So now we're going to click Next to initialize and change the camera's IP address. It might take a second. Here we can see that the initialize succeeded, and we're going to scroll over to show that the modify IP succeeded as well. We'll click Finish to get out of the screen. And as you can see, it already modified the IP address. And now we have a green check mark icon. So we can hit the device search button again to bring that camera back up and show that the changes did take. It's important to maybe use the device search to verify that your changes did take before trying to add the camera. Now that the camera's been initialized with the information from the NVR and has an IP address that we know can, can, it can communicate with, we're going to click the Add button might take a second for this camera to connect but as you can see we have a great picture from our camera here and we've successfully connected up to the camera on a separate network and now the IP address of the camera matches the same network as our NVR so they're easily able to communicate on the network and see the default gateway matches here as well hopefully this video helps you set up your system with your router Thank you for watching.